It is Tuesday, March 12, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton with the morning edition of TCI Top Stories. The news is a magnetic media production. This is an important advisory from Digicel Turks and Caicos. All Digicel subscribers whose SIM cards were issued prior to July 2021, kindly visit your nearest Digicel store and have your SIM card swapped at no cost to you. There's also dedicated SIM swap teams that will be at different locations throughout the various islands on specific days. Please look out for the communication via SMS text message. This is a Telecom's Commission regulatory mandate and enhances network reliability and speed. Please swap your SIM cards as soon as possible to avoid mobile service interruptions. No need to visit a counter or stand in line to pay your Fortis TCI electricity bill. Try our new bill payment kiosks at Sunny Foods, Five Keys, and Blue Hills. It's a quick, convenient, and secure way to pay. Cash, card, and check payments are accepted. Our touchscreen interface lets you search for your account details and access your balance quickly. You can also pay multiple accounts at the same time, no matter the island. Payments are posted by the next business day. It takes a few quick steps, and you're done. Become a kiosk user today. Ariel Henry, the Prime Minister of Haiti, has resigned. My government will leave immediately after the inauguration of the council. There will be a caretaker government until they name a Prime Minister and a new cabinet. Haiti needs peace. Haiti needs stability. The 74-year-old has agreed to step down down. It follows a high-powered meeting of regional leaders at the Jamaica Pegasus in New Kingston, Jamaica yesterday. Pressure upon Henri has been hard to ignore. Strong statements from CARICOM and U.S. leaders and the threat of unending chaos which breached the country's capital and has led to the displacement of thousands and over a million people said to now be starving. It had to result in some sensible action from the man who took office when President and Jovenel Moïse was assassinated, having been sworn in mere hours before that murder. He was not trusted by the people of Haiti. And when CARICOM appeared to continue to prop him up, Haitians took their outrage to fever pitch, forcing the shutdown of the country's main airport in an effort to keep Ariel Henry out of the country. Well, now he is out, resignation is tendered, and we have learned he remains stranded in Puerto Rico. Back at home now in the TCI, things are quiet and clear, said Minister Kyle Knowles, who this morning reported that he was already out to check the dump and its troublesome fire, which gave residents in the northwest side of Provo a smoky, smoggy weekend. Knowles, who is also the member of parliament for Wheeland, said his air quality check found no odors or smoke. Remember, you can subscribe at our YouTube channel, MMTV Caribbean, to get news online anytime. Century 21 Arishar Properties is your best resource for buying or selling any real estate in the Turks and Caicos Islands, whether it's a condo, house, villa, commercial property, or vacant land. Century 21 TCI can assist you with your real estate needs. No matter the sign, keep Century 21 Arishar Properties in mind. Call 649-941-7368 or email your friends at century21tci.com. A high-level, high-stakes meeting unraveling in New Kingston, Jamaica yesterday, inviting in CARICOM leaders and U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. Challenges for the people of Haiti. That's what brings us together today. A political crisis, escalating violence, unrest. This has created an untenable situation for the Haitian people. And we all know that urgent action is needed on both the political and security tracks to help move things in a better direction, to help do right by the people of Haiti. Gathered for talks amidst a desperate situation in Haiti. Now U.S. support to the stabilization mission has surged. I'm announcing today that the United States Department of Defense is doubling It's approved support for the mission from $100 million to $200 million. And that brings the total U.S. support to $300 million for this effort. I'm also announcing additional humanitarian assistance for the people of Haiti, $33 million to further support their health and food security. 
The end game is to get Haiti to democratic elections, something that hasn't happened in eight years. Miami Herald journalist and TCI native Jacqueline Charles featured last night on CBC News in Canada, adding to their report that restoring calm in the island republic may not be able to take place without Haitian gangs represented at the table. Haitian gangs had taken over the capital, Port-au-Prince, threatening a civil war if de facto Prime Minister Ariel Henry didn't resign. According to a February 29th report, five countries have formally notified the United Nations of their intent to contribute personnel to the mission. Bangladesh, Benin, Barbados, Chad and the Bahamas. About a quarter to 1 a.m. on Monday is when a joint operation stopped the boat believed to have come from Haiti with 140 people aboard, informs a TCI police statement which was issued yesterday afternoon. There were 19 women and 121 men brought into the South Dock port with the help of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force. The count corrects an earlier report by Magnetic Media that there were over 200 individuals aboard. ACP Matt Newton, a specialist in tactical operation said the work with international partners will continue and cited the ship rider agreement as the reason this joint operation went smoothly. The 140 migrants were brought in on the HMBS L.L. Smith. Two members of the TCI regiment were stationed aboard that Bahamas Defense Force boat. Weather today, sun and clouds mixed with a high at 80 degrees, partly cloudy skies tonight with a low at 74. That does it for News in the Morning Edition. Thank you for joining us.